Welcome back to Shock Basics, Part 3, Pistons. Today, we're going to talk about pistons. I'm going to show you some different pistons, uh, explain to you a little bit about how each one functions, give you a little bit better idea what's going on inside the shock. The piston is the heart of the, pi uh, heart of the shock. So let's get started and look at a few different pistons. All right, we're going to look at different types of pistons that different shock companies have used. I'm not really gonna say one's better than the other. I'm just gonna show you the differences and what we got going on um, and different companies. So over here we have, and it, we start with the standard Integra piston. Uh, it was a two port piston. They're 180 degrees apart. Later on, they come out with a linear digressive. Um, this was a digressive digressive piston but they also have a linear degressive piston, also a two port, two port uh, opposite each other, 180 degrees. Uh, some Pinsky pistons, high flow linear piston, um, variable bleed piston. You can put ports in there to change the bleed. A linear degressive um, piston that Pinsky had. Uh, here's another linear degressive piston a linear piston with a little dish in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little dish in it. That was a QA1 piston. Bilstein pistons, this was a linear piston. Um, often used, you can see somebody's modified it by drilling some holes in it to add some free bleed. This was their standard COB piston um, that's in many of the shocks, has been for a lot of years. This was somebody's attempt to make a linear digressive piston. Um, it is what it is, but you can make this a linear digressive just by shimming up the piston. This was the small body uh, digressive digressive piston, uh, Bilstein. This is a small body. Here again, linear digressive, it's flat. It has a two port, two port with a digressive side. This is a Penske, no, excuse me, JRI. This piston was originally uh, designed at Penske, but then later taken to JRI if I'm not misunderstood. It's a very thin cross section piston. Um, they did it for a while. I think they changed their minds on what they're doing a uh, couple different pistons that we built uh, this is our left rear piston it's reduced port on one side full port on the other and this this right here i think is very cool because this is a very old digressive digressive it's a three-piece piston it's got these two pieces and this this goes back to an integra shock before integra was called integra I think they called it a Z, a Z shock at the time. Uh, but this is a cool piece, a uh, piece of history. And this is probably one of the more famous pistons. This is an Olin's piston. Um, and I hope I got this right. This is a Soki piston, uh, which was a Japanese engineer that b designed these pistons and kind of revolutionized motorcycle racing. Uh, as we kind of know it, uh, British bikes, super bikes. Um, so Solky, I don't know what his first name was. Very, uh, you, you need to watch the, um, the, it's not a movie, it's a documentary um, about Valentino Rossi. It's about three hours long. They cover, it's amazing how much them bikes are off the ground. But uh, this was a three port piston. I don't think I said anything about it. This was a three-port piston that we did for an Integra. Uh, helps balance out the, the shock a little bit. But as you can see, everybody's got their own creation from holes. Uh, I have, I have you know, very big port digressive uh, to holes on this side. I have some of these that are just holes like this on both sides. They might have four holes. They might have eight holes. Um, so everybody's got a take on what they feel like it's going to take to make this work. This is the heart of the piston. 
uh, of the shock. This is how the shock flows oil. It's how it energizes oil, how it de-energizes oil. Uh, some of these are, like I said, very aggressive, even though, you know, even though these two look far apart, this port flows more than this port. This is harder to control. The internal pressure is higher. Uh, it's a two port. This is a four port. Uh, we use a ring shim so we can control the oil flow very easily. Uh, so just a few different looks. If you have any questions or comments, like I said, this was a basic, this is a basic, um, a basic design, but these are the pistons uh, out of many shocks I've just kind of collected over. Well, like I said, just a basic overview of a few pistons that we've seen or used or people have used, other companies use, just a few piston designs that have been on the market. Uh, and if you really notice, if you take notice, the most popular piston design right now is the linear aggressive, um, similar to this one. Um, or similar to this one of Penske's. So the linear degressive is right now by far the most popular. Uh, I'm not 100% sure I believe it's the best piston, but because shock manufacturers are kind of like racers, um, they follow trends. Um, I do think Penske is a great trend setter, but right now we're using a lot of linear degressive. Some of it's been used pretty good. Some of it's used, being used pretty bad. Uh, some of these companies have had great pistons for years, but feel like they need to change something uh, to make it better. So uh, pistons is the heart of the shock. It's very important how much pressure you make, how you enter the pressure into the oil, and how you de-energize the oil. Uh, so it's you know compression open, compression closed. So as we get into it deeper, We'll learn more stuff, but today, part three was basic pistons, basic, you know, shock basics. It was pistons. Um, so that's what we do. Uh, enjoy, you guys. Um, see you next time.